Jose Zapatas. I'm sorry if I didn't say that correctly. He is a senior physics major and math minor, and he spent his summer at LDA Engineering in Alcoa, Tennessee, working alongside professional engineers and designers on regional projects. So, that's all yours. <laughs> Tonight, tonight, I want to start out by asking the audience, um, does anyone know what this is? It's, yes. The surveying rig. Okay. And do you know what it's called? Okay. So this right here is an optical guide used in civil engineering. Um, so today, I'll talk to you about my civil engineering internship with LDA Engineering. Uh, it was located in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, my name is Jose Zapata. I'm a physics major with a math mathematics minor. And uh, so here is my agenda for today. Uh, I'll give you a little bit back of the background, um, give you a little bit of information about how I found my internship, how I came upon it, um, some of the roles that I did throughout the internship, uh, some of the challenges that I encountered throughout, um, how it related to my EPG abilities, uh, that abilities that I learned last summer, what successes I had during my experiences, and uh, what what's next to me. So, so what is uh, LDA Engineering? LDA Engineering is a civil engineering um, firm in Knoxville, Tennessee. So their uh, their work is related to design, uh, engineering services, uh, as well as survey work. Um, so they have multiple offices in East Tennessee. Uh, they have an office here, and uh, they have one in Nashville, they have one here in Chattanooga, they have one in uh, Alcoa right here, that's the main office, that's where I worked at. Um, they also have one here in Johnson City. So you might ask, like, why, why does it matter where LDA offices are located at? So um, the thing about East Tennessee is that it's, really, it's a really diverse region with uh, many waterways, many mountains, um, many roads. Um, and that's really important for the civil engineering industry in Knoxville, Tennessee, because right here, uh, this is one of the project projects that I've worked on during the summer. Uh, it's a project named Duck Pond in Alcoa, Tennessee. Uh, the purpose of this project was to provide a filtration, filtration system um, for the pond. Um, it's located next to an elementary school. This was important because this is the first project that I worked on with LDA Engineering. So I remember it was my second day at uh, my internship, and I go there, and my supervisor tells me, hey, we're going to a meeting to this project site. And I'm like, okay, so we, we get there. Um, then there's this meeting with like a bunch of high-end people, so project managers, some of the uh, vice presidents of the firms. And uh, so I could really get to sit in and talk um, and listen to what they have to say uh, during the meeting. And then, like, the next week, um, I was able to uh, start surveying and working on this project, and it's still an ongoing project as of today. So right here um, is my supervisor of LDA. His name is Jim Albert. He's the vice president of the company as well as <coughs> geomatics manager. Um, so how did I find Jim? So. Uh, the fall, previous fall semester, as I was looking for internships, I looked um, through the internship office. Um, I applied to many applications, including Handshake, um, RU websites, Glassdoor, and uh, I found that it was difficult for me to actually uh, hold on to an internship because I never really followed up with any of the companies. And I believe that following up with uh, People, or people offering internships or jobs is really important because it really shows that you have a strong interest into them. So over Christmas break, um, I was with my sister and she was, we were just having a regular conversation. And she, uh, she tells me that her friend's dad uh, asked her uh, what my major was and my sister told her it was like physics or engineering. And uh, he was like, oh, okay, um, I, I told him that you're an engineering major. He's looking for an engineering uh, intern for next summer. I was like, oh, okay, um, it would be pretty nice, pretty cool if I could get a chance to work with him. So if he could give me, uh, 
his contact information or your or your friend's contact information, and so I, I get it. I get um, her friend's contact information, and from there uh, I get his email address. I email him. Um, I email him my resume. Um, I tell him that I'm looking for an internship for next summer. Uh, right here's uh, the email that I got. Um, so he looked over my resume, said it was pretty good, um, and he said that he, uh, he would like it if we got a chance to meet up uh, sometime before or after spring break so we, so I get the chance to look into the office and see what they're up to, see what, what they do in the office, and from there on we can go from there. And I think um, this was really important because um, Throughout my internship, um, I did a lot of uh, AutoCAD work right here. Um, so this, right here, I'm working with uh, AutoCAD Inventor 3, uh, Civil 3D. Um, so right here, I did a lot of work using a lot of programs, including uh, Tennessee Property Viewer and a couple of Google programs as well. Um, so right here, I'm looking up parcel information for some of the uh, properties that they're working on, and LDA uses this, this information so they can um, contact the owner in case they need to buy land or right away. Um, so it was really important to keep uh, attention to detail and to stay on top of things and give them accurate information because it would really look bad on the company if they would contact these people and it wasn't valid information because they, um, clients spend a lot of time and money um, contracting civil engineering firms and for them to do that it just doesn't look good on the company. Um, like I said, I did. A, I worked off, also worked on Excel right here. Um, I'm using some uh, Google Earth as well as Tennessee, again using Tennessee Property Viewer. I'm organizing some information for LDA right here as well. Um, and then for the m most than half of the summer, um, I also surveyed, uh, as I showed you at the beginning of the picture, this is one of my co-workers and he's using the optical gun. Um, so how this works is that you have this, you set this up, and you look through the, uh, it's kind of like a camera, you look into the lens and there's like two knobs so you can focus into your, uh, to this prism right here that you look into. And um, so the optical gun right here, it sends a laser and it reflects off of this and uh, this data collector right here, it collects a lot of information such as the distance, the elevation change, and like the angle from certain control points that you get. Um, here in surveying, I learned that teamwork was really important. Um, without teamwork, uh, you can't really survey. You needed a team of at least three people so you could be able to set up, um, run all the equipment, and as all, it also goes back to the idea of attention to detail. You have to have a lot of attention to detail when you're working with this data collector because as surveyors, we just take information. And this information is collected on this data collector and we just give the information to the CAD designers. So the CAD designers have no idea if the, the information that you give them is completely accurate or if it's wrong. <coughs> and, um, so yeah, here's another uh, pictures of my notebook that I kept right here, um, doing a pipe diagram of one of the projects for a pump station. This was in Johnson City, Tennessee. So what were my learning objectives throughout, uh, throughout my internship with LDA Engineering? So before my internship, I really didn't know whether I wanted to go into some type of engineering or if I wanted to do research in physics. Um, and when I got there, um, it took me about halfway throughout my internship when I really realized that um, I really wanted to go into some type of engineering. Um, I realized that it wasn't going to be civil engineering, but uh, maybe I could try out some other types of engineering. But uh, I, I was also faced a couple of challenges throughout uh, my internship. Uh, one of the main ones was uncertainty and ambiguity. Um, in the field of civil en engineering, um, you don't really know what you're going to do the next day in civil engineering. Nothing is really planned out. So you just really have to go and be ready um, for your supervisor or someone to tell you what you're going to do and be ready for you to pick up what you're doing and continue on. And uh, 
uh, have that positive attitude to continue to work. Um, so one of the APG abilities that I used in my internship was networking. Um, so networking is uh, building meaningful relationships with other people so that um, you use them as a contact um, for future use. So uh, in my internship, I met uh, Jim, so he was the vice president, but I also got the chance to work with a lot of engineers. Um, I also met the president of the company, and he knows another, a couple other uh, engineering firms, whether it be mechanical or electrical. And uh, I could go back to him and talk to him and see if he has um, possible opportunities in another engineering discipline. So. Um, like I said previously, attention to detail is really important as well. Um, whether it's doing work on AutoCAD or whether it's surveying and collecting data points, um, it's really crucial for you to um, stay focused and like be able to acquire data effectively. So teamwork, uh, we had to work as a team while surveying as well as when I was working with uh, CAD programs, I had a uh, there's another intern that I was working with, and we both had to work on uh, the same project, but we had to um, talk to each other um, and come up with a, a good way to finish the project or finish the tax efficiently and on time. So my personal growth, um, like I said, I was really confused um, as to whether I wanted to go into engineering or uh, research in physics. Um, and it wasn't until one of my um, coworkers were going uh, <coughs> back to the office after a long day of surveying. Uh, we're in the truck, and he was telling me about um, how when he was my age, he was, uh, he was in college going to school for a, sur a surveying degree, a four-year degree. Uh, he was telling me how, about he, how he didn't really know what he was getting himself into. And that's one of his biggest regrets in his life. And now he's about 30 years old. And then that's when everything clicked. That's when I realized that right now is a really important uh, time in my life for me to make really important decisions that will affect me and, and it will um, play into the rest of my life. So what's next for me? So as, as a child, uh, I've always had a passion into cars. <coughs> I'm really into them, and I really want to look into going <coughs> and getting an internship into the automotive industry. So I want to get into contact with people that I know. Um, and another possibility would be aerospace engineering. Um, I'm really intrigued into the subject, and I don't really know many people in the industry, but I'm just getting my name out there and talking to people, I'm sure. I'm so that's it. Does anyone have questions? What type of internship options were available for the engineering focus? Uh, like for me, like what engineering positions I was offered? Yeah, like what were the ones that were, were there some ones that just didn't really, or were they just looking at different places and doing right. like that, et Right, so when I applied, I applied to um, a couple of universities to do research in physics, and I also applied to um, some mechanical engineering uh, firms. The one that I heard back from was in London, Kentucky. Uh, they're a uh, mechanical engineering firm, but I tried to look them up and they didn't really have that big of a name, so I wasn't really that interested. In yeah. What are some of the ways in which your physics major informed some of your, uh, the processes that you learned over the, over the course of your internship? Right, so as a physics major, um, I remember when some of my classes we got to work in with AutoCAD Inventor. Um, so that's really similar to AutoCAD Civil 3D. Um, so just using those programs, or knowing how to use um, that program really helped, and it was a smooth transition into um, being able to work with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're no longer super interested in civil engineering after your internship. Where do you think you're going to look next? At, well, actually, no, why aren't you interested in civil engineering? What about it wasn't attractive to you in your internship? 
Right. So it's just, um, it's not that I don't enjoy doing it. It's just that I just didn't really have that much of a passion in doing that type of work. And I feel that <coughs> for me to be really happy in life, I really need to try to get into something that I really enjoy and have a passion. Okay, so take me back to the fall. You said that you went to the Center for Transformative Learning, you used Handshake and some of those other tools. Right. Take us through how those tools didn't help you and what advice you would give to the students who are starting down that pathway so that we can learn from your challenge. Right. So one tip that I would have is when you're looking into internships, you really want to have your mindset as, as if you really want to be in there. Like whenever you do have your application, you get to give it your best effort. Um, and you really got to reach out to the employer and the company after you submit your application for you to really show interest into the company. I'm going to follow up. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that you've didn't demonstrate that drive. Mm -hmm. Is that is that was that where an error might have been, or is that what the corrective action that we need to take, which is that follow up and what and what does that look like? Right. So I think that was in part of my mistake because I applied to a lot of them, and I didn't really have much of a focus into uh, a specific few amount of internships. So I really think it's important to narrow it down to where you really want to focus your attention. Thank you.